the orientation of our world for a long time since the ET treaties were signed by, well, they were originally, or they originated with the LNU Treaty back after the Lyran Wars, but Eisenhower signed the Griotta Treaty and then Bush signed the Tau Nine Treaty. And in those treaties, a dialectic is set up between the superior races and the inferior races. And so what we have had all this time is this drama, this drama between the races, all right? The drama between the races creates the predatory behavior in which the superior races dominate and manipulate the inferior races. The superior races prey upon and get into human trafficking and body parts marketing and sex trafficking and slavery and all of that. It's all drama to get things moving. Now, commerce is a form of drama in which we say, I am not okay, I need, I need something I have to buy. So I have to go looking for it and then I have to pay for it. This is all stimulus for drama to get things moving. Well, unfortunately, in our world, drama has taken over the drama of subjective and vicarious experiences has taken over the process of solving problems, okay? People have problems with their sexuality, so they get into porn and vicarious experiences to substitute for fixing the problem with their own sexuality, all right? Um, we have problems of ego. You notice now at YouTube, narcissism is the biggest deal, okay? And what narcissism is, is the person whose drama overwhelms, overtakes, manipulates, and dominates other people. That's narcissism. <laughs> Okay, and so all of the responses to narcissism are the way of pushing it aside or confronting and addressing it or ignoring it. There's gray stoning, there's gaslighting, there's shunning, there's all kinds of ways to deal with narcissism and the claim that an individual makes that their drama is more important than anybody else's drama. <laughs> okay, see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? We have a drama orientation. And in academia, it takes the form of analysis. Okay, in academia, history is a series of events that are generalized and attached to an ideology, attached to a race, attached to a piece of land, okay? And the drama of what happens is cut off and separated by the simple fact that people have given up getting along with each other. They have given up behaving in predictable ways that make sense to each other. Now, if you look at academia and the, the myriad videos on the empires that have ruled humanity since the Anunnaki, um, brought their culture and um, and after the flood there was Sumeria and there was Assyria and there was Egypt and there was Greece and there was Rome and there was Tartaria and each of these empires operated from the drama of superior and inferior races 
which maritime admiralty administrative codes, the UCC codes operate from now, which is to say whatever you tacitly consent to because you didn't know it was going on is what is going to enslave you. All right, slavery is a big thing in drama because it rash, drama rationalizes slavery. Drama orientation says that slavery and the eradication of natural rights has a rational reason, okay? And the mistreatment of others has a rational, generalizable reason why we are allowed to mistreat others in a drama situation is because of the treaties that said that that's appropriate. And so what are we absolutely flooded with, okay? We have fiction. People who are addicted to books and fiction and living out their lives vicariously in books we can live out our lives vicariously in movies, in plays, in music videos, okay, in um, casinos, all right? Or how about the people who live out their drama in lotteries, or they live out their drama in pornography, or they live out their drama in fights, over doctrine and dogma in churches, or they live out their drama, their wish for drama um, in political contention. Okay, our dramatic orientation has overwhelmed the desire to simply get along and solve problems. Wow. Can you imagine such a thing? And of course, drama is what drives business. I need to X, I need to go, I need to be, I need to have, I need to get, I need to take, all right? This is all drama. And what monasteries and convents and um, communities, devout spiritual communities have shown us over and over and over again is that the drama of life is sufficient within. We don't have all these needs that we think we have. We don't have all these gets that we need to get and all these places we need to go. And if we just settle down and solve our problems, our country and our lives will make a lot more sense, personally, all right? If we can just settle down and deal with what comes up and cease the practice of seeking and demanding and looking for more subjective, vicarious drama on your cell phone, and your video games, on your television, the news. See what I'm saying? Let's calm down and accept life as the process of learning from without and within, but without the necessity of such drama that we disrupt each other's, we disrupt each other's path. Let's not do that anymore. Let's not be superior. Let's not be um, needing to tell other people that they're wrong. Let's try this as an idea. It's Thursday. It's a lovely California day and the blossoms are about to bloom. And I had this idea and I wanted to share it with you, my friends. And I hope that 
it, you can find some value in it. Thank you so much for coming by. Bye-bye. All right.